क्वेश्चन नंबर 26 सिक्स सेज अ मूविंग ब्लॉक ऑफ मास एम कोलाइड साइड ऑन विद अनदर स्टेशनरी ब्लॉक ऑफ मास कैपिटल एम इट इज गिवन दैट स्मॉल एम इज लेस देन कैपिटल एम द लाइटर ब्लॉक कम्स टू रेस्ट आफ्टर द कोल्यूजन इफ कोफिशियंट प्रोस्टिट्यूशन इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर देन वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द रिलेशन बिटवीन कैपिटल एम एंड स्मॉल एम डे स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम द कंजर्वेशन ऑफ लीन मोमेंटम वी कैन राइट डाउन दैट इफ द इनिशियल स्पीड ऑफ द मूविंग मास स्मॉल एम इज यू then mu is equal to capital m multiplied by v where v is the final velocity of the capital m mass now from the definition of e we can write down that e would be equal to v by u and it is given to be equal to 0.4 which means that v is equal to 0.4 u from the first equation we can write down that v is equal to small m by capital m into u on comparing these two equations we can write down that small m by capital m is equal to 0.4 or m would be equal to 2.5 into small m therefore option number 3 is the correct answer now let us proceed to the question number 27 question number 27 says a solid sphere of mass 1 kg and radius 5 cm is rotating about its diameter at the rate of 3 rotations per minute the minimum constant torque required to stop in pi revolutions is dear students let us first convert this angular velocity in radians per second and it would be equal to pi by 10 radian per second the kinetic energy of the sphere would be equal to half i omega square which will be equal to half into 2 by 5 into mr square mass is given to be equal to 1 and r is given to be equal to 5 cm into omega square that is pi by 10 square the kinetic energy turns out to be equal to 5 pi square into 10 raised to power minus 6 joules now the students if the torque required is t then the work done by torque is t delta theta we can write down that it will be equal to t into delta theta which is pi revolutions which means pi into 2 pi that is 2 pi square radians it should be equal to this kinetic energy on solving this expression we get value of torque to be equal to 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 6 newton meter which means option number 2 of this question is the correct answer now let us proceed to question number 28 question number 28 says a light rod of length 2 meter has two point masses 1 kg and 2 kg attached to its two ends The moment of inertia of the system about an axis perpendicular to the rod and passing through the center of mass is Dear students the moment of inertia about an axis passing through the center of mass is mu l square where mu is the reduced mass equal to m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 here in it would be equal to 1 in multiplied by 2 divided by 1 plus 2 that is 2 by 3 Here an L is given to be equal to two meters. On substituting the values, we get I to be equal to two by three into two square, that is eight by three kg meter square, which means option number two is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the question number twenty-nine. Question number twenty-nine says three identical solid spheres, each of mass m and radius r, are placed in contact. Consider an axis x x dash which is passing through centers of two spheres as shown in figure. Moment of inertia of system consisting of three solid spheres about x x dash axis is. Dear students, in this particular case, the moment of inertia of this and this sphere would be equal to two by five m r square each. Now to find out the moment of inertia. of this sphere we can complete this triangle the side length of this triangle should be 2r and if this length is d we can write down d to be equal to 2r cos 30 that is root 3r dear students the moment of inertia of this particular sphere about the axis x x dash would be equal to 2 by 5 mr square plus m Into d square. This is from the parallax theorem. That is two by five m r square plus m three r square. This will be equal to seventeen by five m r square. 
the total moment of inertia would be this 17 by 5 mr square plus the moment of inertia of the remaining spheres that will be 2 by 5 mr square each so we multiply it by 2 the total answer therefore would be equal to 21 by 5 mr square and hence the correct answer is option number 3 now let us proceed to the question number 30 Question number 30 says the moment of force F is equal to 2i cap plus 4j cap minus 8k cap acting at minus 1, comma 1, comma 3 about the point 2 minus 1, 1 is given by. The students, the torque tau is equal to R cross F. Here in R is given to be equal to minus i cap plus j cap plus 3k cap minus 2i cap minus j cap plus k cap which will be equal to minus 3 i cap plus 2 j cap plus 2 k cap the torque therefore would be equal to minus 3 i cap plus 2 j cap plus 2 k cap cross 2 i cap plus 4 j cap minus 8 k cap this is this is the value of minus 24 i cap minus 20 j cap minus 16 k cap and therefore the correct answer for this question is option number 4 now let us proceed to the question number 31 